In this video, we're going to talk about how you can handle adversity in sports. Hey there, I'm Eli Straub, mental performance coach and the founder of SuccessStartWithin.com. Now as an athlete, you don't want to face adversity, but it's very likely that you're going to face adversity. And there are many different types of adversities that you can face. There's going to be falling behind in a game, right? So the adversity in a game of your team losing. There can be the adversity you have of not making a team. Maybe you get benched on your team. Maybe you're dealing with an injury. Maybe you have a negative coach or you have teammates who you don't get along with. All of those can be seen as adversities that you have to face and you have to overcome as an athlete. Number one, if you want to enjoy yourself as an athlete and enjoy yourself performing. But number two, if you want to really perform your best. Because if you allow every adversity to tear you down, then that's going to lower your performance on the field or court. To help you manage adversity as an athlete, there are different kind of mindset shifts that you can take and different ways of thinking that are going to, going to help reduce the power that this adversity has on you. To develop a mindset to overcome adversity, there are different mindset shifts that you need to have. One of them is that you want to see obstacles and adversities as opportunities. Opportunities to learn and grow as an athlete. This is not at all an easy thing to do, especially if it's an adversity that you know, is either painful or is incredibly frustrating. It's not going to be easy to see it as an opportunity. But when you're faced with an adversity, and this is going to hold true for any of the things we talk about, when you're faced with an adversity, the truth is it's there. It happened. The only thing you can do now is say, what can I do with what has happened? What can I do with this scenario that I've been given? And so you have the option to either allow it to tear you down or to work to learn something from it. So when you see obstacles as opportunities to grow and learn as an athlete, you start to take some sort of positive from that negative situation, which is going to help reduce the impact that that adversity has on you. The next mindset shift is to focus on what you want. This really holds true whenever you are facing adversity during a game. Let's say that you made a mistake during a game. If you are struggling to let go of that mistake moving forward, you're still focused on that mistake. And then one of the ways that mistake can hurt you as you move forward in the game is worrying about making another mistake, so you're worrying about the possibility of failing again. So in that moment, what you wanna do is you wanna focus on what you want. And so what you want in that moment would be for you to play well. So in your mind, you wanna be seeing yourself as an athlete who can perform well. The same thing is true if, if you're dealing with an injury, for example. If you're dealing with an injury, you wanna start seeing yourself as recovering from the injury and getting back out there and competing at a high level. If you focus on the fact that you're injured, you're sidelined right now, you, you focus on the fact that it's unfair, that's not going to help you overcome that adversity and get back from that injury. So you want to make sure that you're focusing on what you want. And then you also want to focus on past times where you've overcome adversity. Whether you're dealing with a big adversity right now and you need to think back to times where you've overcome small adversities, or you're dealing with a small adversity right now and you're thinking back to times where you've overcome big adversities. Remembering times where you know, you've dealt with challenges, you've dealt with setbacks, and you've learned from them and you've moved forward, that's going to really build that confidence in yourself right now to say, yes, the situation I'm in sucks. You know, yes, I don't, don't wish that I was faced with this adversity, but I've been able to bounce back from adversity in the past, so I know that I'm going to be able to do it again. The next tip is that you want to take it one step at a time. You know, whether you are losing in a game, and your team needs to come back from 10, 15 points, or you need to come back from three runs, or you need to come back from four goals, all you can do is take it one point at a time. Take it one step at a time. If you're injured right now, and you have a six-month recovery window, you're not going to jump from day one to the end of month six right now. All you can do is take it one step at a time. If you focus on where you aren't yet, so how you haven't come back and regained the lead yet, how you're not back on the field yet, when you focus on the yets, that's going to make the adversity even more difficult to overcome. But when you focus on taking it one step at a time, that's going to make the adversity easier to manage. But also, it's going to give you a better chance of overcoming the adversity because you're going to be giving more focused attention to the process, to every single small step that's going to lead to the outcome that you want. So while adversity isn't what you want to have happen as an athlete, the truth is sometimes it does happen. And when it does happen, you're faced with two choices. Either allow the adversity to hold you back or to work to overcome the adversity. And so by applying these mindset shifts and these tips, you can really work to overcome and manage adversity as an athlete. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos each day on sports psychology and mental training. 
If you have any questions about the video or any other sports psychology topic, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best of success in all that you do.